How's it going, guys? Welcome back to some more of our Baltimore Eagles My GMOs. You can see there's no gameplay on the screen just yet. I got a couple things to talk about. So in the end of 2K16, when 2K16 was kind of died down, I had ran out of ideas, right? So I decided to start a new series that was like in my GM, and it was expansion. I had came up with the expansion thing way before it was announced in 2K17. I tried to bring something fresh, and it was called the St. Louis Spirits. So a lot of you guys watching this video, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, man. But for you new guys, I kind of have to explain what's going on. So what I did, instead of taking a normal approach where I show you guys gameplay from my, my GM and just talk over it, I decided that I was going to be a radio host. Now, in the old episodes, it was the St. Louis Spirits. So I was a fan of the St. Louis Spirits. And I was a radio guy, and I talked about what was going on in St. Louis as far as basketball. We had guests on, and just different stuff like that. Now, yesterday I posted a video of our new MyGM series of the Baltimore Eagles, and one of the top comments was like, we want the radio show back. So it's coming back, man. It's coming back, and we're getting the preview of it right here, right now. But this is going to be different. And the last thing with the St. Louis Spirits, the, the radio show was every episode. Every episode I did of it, we did the radio show, and it was hard to do because they take quite a bit of time. But for this one, we're not doing it every episode. So, on the thumbnail, there's going to be a mark. I don't know what the logo is. I mean, it's going to be on the screen right now, but I, I haven't made it just yet. We're going to put a logo in, like, the corner of the video so you guys know when is the radio show going to be on or if it's going to be a normal commentary with me. Now, I feel like this is going to be good because it kind of takes a little pressure off of me trying to provide new ideas for the radio show. Because you think about it, think about the guys that do radio or do, like, daily news things like daily news when it comes to nba we're talking about like skip bayless first take all those type of things they have to entertain you every day with different topics now that was actually really difficult to do with the st louis spirits thing because i had i don't know i feel like i just exhausted all the ideas but i, I wrote a bunch down before 2k17 dropped and i had planned on bringing this all alone but i kind of want to see how you guys are going to take the normal type of videos before i brought back the radio show but we're here it's back and um I think that's all I have to say. So, for what we're gonna, what we're gonna do, I'm a fan of the Baltimore Eagles, and I have my own radio show. I am Calvin Haynes. Good morning, everyone. I am your host, Calvin Haynes, and welcome to the Baltimore Eagles Talk Show. Eagles Talk is what we're gonna call it until somebody comes up with a more creative name. We are three games into the season, and our Baltimore Eagles are 0 and three. Now, really, I did not expect anything less because this is a new team to the league with a bunch of young players who have really a lot of them don't have much talent, if we're being completely honest with each other. So 0-3, but we have yet to play a single game at home. You know why? Because the arena just isn't done just yet. Today is November 1st, and the first official home game is scheduled for tomorrow, and we're not even sure if it's going to take place. Now, it may just be postponed to later in the season, or we may have to fly out to Denver to play. But either way, we have a game tomorrow, and hopefully it's in our own arena. So, 0-3. Let's break down these first couple games. So, you guys saw the first game against the Milwaukee Bucks. It was an all-out shootout. The final score being 114-147, to 147, or 147 to 114, because you got to put the winning team first. And honestly, we caught a big fat L. Michael Carter Williams pretty much had one of those type of games where he had in his rookie season, putting up 26 points, 6 rebounds, and 10 assists. They also had a lot of help from Chris Middleton, Greg Monroe, Jabari Parker, all these guys just pretty much had a field day on our young team. But when we look at our side of the ball, it was just an overall all-score night. I saw a lot of good things, and I saw a lot of bad things. And we're going to talk about that in the future. But game number two was in Chicago against the Bulls, and we lost again, the final score being 100-79. to On their side of the ball, Jimmy Butler put up 20 points, 5 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals, 2 blocks, an all-around great game for Jimmy Butler. Robin Lopez, who's new to their team, putting up 14 points, 8 rebounds. Isaiah Cannon, off their bench in just 15 minutes, scored 12 points. Just a pretty good night for him. On our side of the ball, we had Norman Powell coming off our bench, averaging or putting up 16 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. He actually has been playing really good off, off our bench, and I'm hoping that Kevin McHale eventually gives him that starting position because we'll talk about in game number three, he had a field day. So the story of this game was really the points and the paint. Our team is not the best at protecting the paint. We don't have those big guys that can go down there and just get blocks or block shots. We had five blocks that game, and they outscored us in the paint by 14 points. It's pretty much doubling our points in the paint, and that can't happen. 
And our last game, 0-3, as I mentioned, was against the Atlanta Hawks. Dennis Struder, new starter for their team, put up 21 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, while Paul Millsap had a double-double with 15 and 15. D D8, I almost said D12, but D8, Dwight Howard isn't calling that because D8 just doesn't flow right. 8 points, 12 rebounds. Now, on our side of the ball, Norman Powell, as I mentioned, off our bench, 22 minutes, put up 35 points. I'm hoping that tomorrow when we see this team take the floor, he'll be in the start and rotation. I don't know where he's going to be. Allen Crabb only put up four points for us, and he's not having the best shooting season so far. So maybe he takes Allen Crabb. Maybe they switch roles a little bit. Or maybe we start him over Sebastian Muhammad, who just shot one for eight the other night. Shooting 19% on the season, Sebastian Muhammad. So that's easy for me, actually. Norman Powell should be starting over Sebastian Muhammad until he gets his stuff together. We saw a couple years ago, he averaged 13 and a half points. Now, believe it or not, He's kind of a veteran guy in the locker room. This team is so young. Sebastian Muhammad being just 23 years old, he's one of the veteran guys because he has three seasons on his belt. Granted, the first two seasons were like played with injuries. He only played a total of like 70 games in his first two years. But last year, he played all 82. We're hoping he can stay healthy. But we need him to provide. We definitely need some production from him. Now, let's take a look at our first home game against the Denver Nuggets. Now, their team... It's very similar to ours. And I say that because they don't have a go-to guy. Of course, they're a lot better than us, but they don't have a go-to guy that we can focus our defense around. We've played against a pretty good team so far. Um, the Nuggets aren't particularly one of them, but if we take a look at their averages, they have about seven people averaging over 10 points per game. So it's just an all-around scoring team. So we need to pretty much focus on every aspect of defense. They're coming into the game 2-2, two and two, and we're 0-3. Now, tomorrow, we will talk about and break down our first official home game, and hopefully, it's in the Lottie Center. Hopefully, you did enjoy our first show. Not much to talk about since it's still very early in the season, but we're breaking down that next game very, very soon. If you want to be featured in the show, comment down below a question with hashtag Eagles Talk. That's E-A-G-L-E-S-T-A-L-K, Eagles Talk. And I'm going to be picking the best comments and we're going to be answering some questions about this team, the team's direction, or whatever you guys want to hear. It has been your host, Calvin Haynes. I'm signing out. Thank you.